welcome. It's Debbie from Your Home, Your Happy Place. I cannot tell you how overwhelmed I am, how blessed by, first of all, Liz from Traditions by Seasons, having done such a sweet collab with me and gifting me by her recommendation so many. I think I've got over 2,000 new subscribers that are her family. And y'all came over here right away because in one one day that's how fast i grew and you just showered me with the sweetest and kindest words and i just want to say thank you and welcome i want to tell you a real quick thing about my channel because this is like your second time here maybe um my philosophy on decorating your home your happy place i am not here to give you the formula i'm not here to give you the perfect thing um, your home, your happy place comes out of a place where as a decorator, when I went in to work with a client, they were always feeling like they weren't good enough. Uh, their ideas weren't good enough. They had no confidence and they would have taken anything that I would have recommended and they would have said, okay, yes, yes, because you know what you're doing. But in the end, I'm not the person living there. And I just really want to push that point home to people. It's your home. It's your happy place. If you like color that's supposedly not in style right now, but it makes you happy, then that's where it should be for you. And we just try to make it work. I don't ever want somebody putting me in a home of colors that I don't like. I would get depressed and I'm not kidding you. I mean, that is a literal thing. Color has an influence on our mood. And although there's psychologists who tell you that this color invokes this and this color invokes that, well, it doesn't in every person because we are all not alike. So I welcome your comments, but if you're giving me a tip on how uh, I shouldn't do this or I shouldn't do that, you know what? Um, you shouldn't do it because you don't like it, but if I'm gonna do it, it's because I like it. I may not like it, I may come back, you're gonna see when I uh, you do a tour that I've already changed things from the first time I went around. So um, yeah, we're always improving. But the point is, it is your home and it is your happy place and I wanna make you happy in your home and I want to give you the confidence to do it for yourself. So let's get on with my sitting room, which it is, I don't know, I mean, I guess it could be considered like a den in some homes. It just happens to be a very private spot between our master bedroom and our master bath. It has a little balcony and really it will just be used by my husband and myself. Okay, I don't usually show it this way, but here we go. <laughs> Um, all right, this is a not very big room. I don't know. I really don't know the measurements, but we have a three pieces of main furniture in here. I have this, basically it's a china cabinet for a dining room, but I just knew I wanted an airy um, spot. I thought I was just gonna put like uh, all our reading because this is like, for me, it, it's called a sitting room, but I can kind of consider it a reading room. I did not want a TV in here. We have a great view. Originally, we thought we'd view out that way, but this actually balcony rail is built into the roof, so you would never have had a view. They can't put an open rail there. So anyway, we had to rethink. So I've emptied everything except that because I'm gonna leave that up there for Christmas. I'm not taking down my two, uh, four pictures. I already put up this little tree. Um, I think he cost me about $25 a few years ago at Michael's when they were having 50% off, which I think they probably have off right now. It's not, um, you know, it's that kind of papery kind of tree, but you know what? It's, it's several years old and it still looks just as good as it did. I love a slim tree so that I can put a tree in almost every room. And there's a reason I do that, besides just because I love them. On the floor, oh my gosh, I love this stuff and I'd love to put it in here, but I don't think it's gonna work. Boy, the sparkles do not show up on camera. So it looks kind of dead on camera unless it'll look better, but it's totally sparkly. And my ornaments, uh, way too many for that tree right now. <laughs> I know that I'm not gonna put up some of them. I can see that right now. I may, I thought I was gonna go all, all coastal, 
but I'm really loving some of these other ornaments that are not. So we'll see where I end up with. This is my first year in this house, so I don't, I mean, we're not even decorated as far as the house goes. We've only got a few pictures hung. We're still figuring it out, but I'm just going with it. And here's a bunch of stuff. Most of it will end up in, um, in the little china cabinet or on that little table there. Um, and then let me s slow you. This is a mess over here too. Um, oh, I did put a Christmas tree there. <laughs> That's about it. I don't know if I'll do anything else. And, oh, here's some more little stuff. And then I will do a little bit of decor, but you're not going to see a lot yet. Ooh, I have a mirror. I wish I could put back there, but I have a feeling it's too big. All right, let's get on with the show. for this honestly yesterday I wanted to film it was so sunny and the Sun comes up on that side of the room and and sets over here and it was such a horrible glare so I thought well I'm just gonna have to forget posting today which I'm still hoping to and this is Friday by the way so if it's not here you'll know I didn't make it but um, anyway I'm going to try out two different I'm gonna get, let's play a game here, right? So you can see my tree in the background, which, oh my goodness, I love it. It's so delicate. Um, it says to me, I was thinking as I was decorating, how I was looking down at all the coastal stuff that I'm not using in this room. Um, this room, I was thinking of Christmas songs and what would that tree mean to me? Um, is it peace on earth? I mean, there's just a peacefulness in this room or is it silent night? Because even in Silent Night, well, I don't know the words now. I'll have to look it up. Anyway, I was just thinking that the sparkle in there is kind of like, I don't know, angels in the sky announcing that that's Hark the Herald Angels. No, it's not Hark the Herald. It's not. I don't know. What, what, what do you guys think the trees? What's the song? Let's name the tree after a Christmas song. Okay, but here's the game. So I have this. It's kind of like a lamb's wool tree skirt. It's really kind of soft underneath, okay? Or, and as you can tell, I am not putting in any traditional Christmas colors in this room. Or the soft, cuddly gray. So the color in this room is, is a gray. And when I picked it out, they, you know, all across the internet, this is why I have to tell you, don't listen to everything in a magazine or that you read because they're wrong. Half the time, more than half the time, they're probably wrong. They said this was the, the most, I don't know, the best gray, the truest gray. This room looks blue to me. It's called reflection. I love it. I'm not knocking it, but it's not gray and it affected the way I was able to bring in color into the room especially my bedspread. So if I if I put certain things in here that are blue that normally would look great with gray, uh-uh, they just clash. If I go with an aqua, well, there's certain aquas you can use in here. It's, it's just very, it's a very particular gray. So, but there's, the reason I say that is there's gray in here. Does this look gray? No, I don't know. Anyway, which one do you pick? I'm gonna play around down there. Whoops, here we go. Nope. Here we go. I'm gonna play around down there and decide which one and so let's see if you're right. There's no wrong answer, y'all. It's whichever I decide I like the best. Okay, countdown. What did I pick? Five, four, three, two, one.
so you can see I'm, I'm changing my, <laughs> I'm not showing you the cleanest uh, areas. I've got my water here, my bracelet I took off because I was writing on my computer and uh, lots, of, lots of stuff. So I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna pull this together pretty quickly for you. Okay, I'm starting with my chases, which is just gonna be super simple. You guys, TJ Maxx has absolutely the best throws this year. I got in there and I was panicking because I saw nothing. And then I, over on really close, and that's just my store, really close to the women's clothes, there were six circular racks and then from one side to the whole side of the store, double racks. So, I mean, we're talking probably a thousand. I don't know. So much variety, any color pretty much that you're looking for, except fall, um, because I was thinking about doing a little bit of gold in my, um, my family room, but I don't want, I didn't really want the, um, you know, I don't want pumpkins and stuff, not for Christmas. So anyway, uh, I, I'm just, you know, every time I do a video, you're going to see. So these, I believe were 19. They ranged from $16.99 to the most expensive one, which was $40, which still, if you're at Target or something, you're going to pay that for it. And the only reason that one was 40, I think it was a, a knitted one and it, and I, I did buy, it has, um, big ball tassels on it. So it's a lot different than these really, but you can see just me touching this. This is so cuddly, so soft. So this one was under $20 and, um, pure white. Okay. I'm going to pop this on each of these. The sun's trying to peek through. I know that's a good thing, but it's starting to come in my room before I'm done. Anyway, are those not the cuddliest? Isn't that, I mean, you just want to crawl in there and I want to lay on one and I want to put one over me and I want to read a good book or, you know, scroll through Instagram or do something like that. All right, let's do the pillows next. Okay, I did not have a good pillow. Um, I found one that was furry white. I've decided to put it on my bed because I only found one and I need two. And I totally expected to find one at TJ Maxx. Um, but I went to Hobby Lobby first and I really didn't, I mean, I didn't even know. I know they do pillow covers, but I don't think I ever saw pillows there. And so over in the Christmas department, I saw this and... I wasn't thrilled with the price. Oh yeah, it was 60% off. I forgot about that. I think they ended up being about 15, somewhere between 13 and $15 each. Um, you cannot, you cannot take it off. So it's sewn that way, but you know what? I love this edge. I do. And it's embroidered and it's gold and it's sparkly thread. So it's perfect. <laughs> so many ways to go with that little table and it is little um 
I was just, I just put the big lantern that I'll most likely put outside there and that would have been fine. It's just, I like a lot of little stuff. Not too much little stuff, but a little stuff. So anyway, I, uh, I keep my fillers or whatever you want to call them. Usually they're aromatics um, from year to year. I don't know. I haven't opened this one up to see if it still smells. Um, I've had this for years, got it at uh, Pier 1. And then this bowl, which I think I probably picked up this past summer at Kirkland's. Um, I used it in my house on the market to hold some ceramic balls. Um, so I'm going to put these two together and set that in there and see what we think. I'm trying to lift this up. This is so heavy. Ugh. Um, I'm not sure if that came with that. Probably did. So even the same filler that I used there, I could toss in here. I'm not. I'm, I don't know that I'm going to. Again, this is a room that only my husband and I will probably be in. Maybe people will look at it, but they're not going to be out here. Um, I had to test my candles because I made the mistake. Not all candles <laughs> that are battery operated are plastic. A lot of them are wax. And I put something out on the terrace there and then it all melted down. I'm like, oh no. So never even got to use them. I'm so upset about it. But these are, these are plastic. So um, I guess there's a, a lesson. I mean, this was made this way. These are built into this. I didn't put them in here. But the lesson is make sure you read if it's an outdoor candle or not, because um, obviously there's a difference for a purpose. But I'm just going to set this outside. There's not a lot. I'm, I mean, we might do some garland on that, but my husband is more in charge of that stuff than me. And um, we, I would love to put, you know, throws and pillows and a tabletop uh, um, tablecloth out there. But the truth is, it's going to get wet. It's going to blow away. So I just need one little piece out here that gives us a little ambiance. We're going to sit out there in the evening mostly. And I'll show, I'm not going to show this right now. Because if there's too much sun, maybe it'll come out in a home show, a home show, a home tour. So I just wanted you to see what I'm putting out on the balcony. 
Okay, I had to remove a shelf. These shelves are screwed in, so um, I lowered the top shelf. Oh, let me turn the light on in there. I don't know if that helps. There we go. Um, I just needed height. They were just, just with all those shelves, or just I couldn't get things in. And by the way, I uh, by now maybe you've already made up a name for that tree, but as I got in here, all I could think about was I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, and I actually had. Well, I'll show it to you and I'll close up. I have a little um, sign that says that, that I was gonna hang over my bed, you know, dreaming. But um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it in here. So I'm gonna show you the things I'm gonna try in here and I'm gonna play around with. Um, I love this tree. Um, I was hoping to use it over on the breakfast bar area there in, in the sitting room, but you know, right now everything's up for grabs as I decorate whatever's next gets the cream of the crop, right? And so, oh wow, yeah, that looks good. Just setting it on the shelf. This one I picked up yesterday at the 60% off sale at Hobby Lobby. It does have a battery. Uh, I just pulled the Try Me out so the inside lights up um, kind of, uh, no, that's not hologram. I don't know what to tell you. It's a uh, iridescent, iridescent, so it's not white. It's not green, but it's iridescent. And then I'm bringing in, because I use some of those pinks, pale blues, golds, and silvers on that tree, I'm gonna incorporate this little tree. So right now I have three little trees in here. Um, I picked up uh, two frames, because I had one, uh, I have three children. So I had one, I'll show it to you, I bought it. <laughs> Uh, I took a Christmas card that they gave me one year and I put it in there and um, I just really, I, I set it in here this week and I thought, oh, that's so cute, but I need the rest of my kids because you know how that would make people feel. So, so I got two of those. I'm going to put those on. I got three shelves. I got three shelves. I got one for each child. Um, if you have watched some of my previous Christmas videos, you know I... Um, started kind of collecting by accident uh, music boxes and this is one my father gave me every year they tried to find me one um, I mean these are those sad times you know I treasure it because he picked it out for me um, but you know you miss people this time of year especially when you're picking up things that they you know they gave you or they would have given you so I, I don't know uh, it plays the carousel waltz, and you open it up, and that little horsey, it's even pretty in there. The little horsey just turns around. Yeah, don't, he does a go up and down. So, and even the inside of this is scrolled. It's so beautiful. Okay, so that's going in there. Uh, what else? I picked up, um, no, I ordered these. I think I ordered them from Amazon. Just a set of three battery operated candles. As I told you, I lost a whole bunch because they melted. And um, I bought this, I think last year or the, a couple years ago when I bought the other. Uh, they're obviously the same color scheme. And then lastly, oh, this is a paperweight. I just love it, it's my colors. It, it reminds me of the ocean. So I've taken out all of my seashells and coral and I may incorporate them. I don't, I don't have a plan yet. I'm just gonna play and we'll see what happens. I might let you look, I don't know. I get a little nervous about that.
Adding shelves is always a trial and error. And here we are. Um, I think I'm happy. I'm not gonna light candles. I don't have the batteries in anything yet, but, and I don't have the pictures. And shame on me if I don't get that done before Christmas. I have a tendency to not put pictures in. But my top shelf is just uh, the two photos. I originally thought I was gonna try and do a photo on each shelf, but the bottom shelf is not even close to eye level. So unless you're sitting down, you're not gonna see it. Um, and if, if I am sitting down, I'm not gonna see them up here, but <clears throat> as far as standing in the room, I like it. So, um, and this ornament here, you guys, this is so old. So see, there's a ribbon around it. If you watched my tablescape Christmas video for the dining room, I told you I sometimes make little gifts. And so that was one, one year that I just took a bunch of pretty white ornaments. That's how old it is, it's chipped. And I tied a ribbon around it and I just set it in the middle of the plate. And um, that was probably mine. And believe it or not, people took them so and kept them. So that's pretty cool. Um, I know that when the doors are shut on this, that you won't really see that if you're standing straight in front of it, but ugh, nobody's really gonna be. And I might leave them open, who knows? I like it. Um, I did end up bringing in a little bit of my coral and my seaside stuff because it just, I didn't have enough. And I don't, I don't know, I have this thing about over, overdoing, I don't know. I mean, I could see some garland in here, but I still gotta do the top shelf, so. And I pulled this off of my desk <laughs> in my studio because I just didn't have the right pieces to go in here, and I really did wanna highlight my little music box. So that's where we're at with that. And now I'm gonna address the very top. So I'm leaving the plate. I love the plate. I think it's a great backdrop. It's got the right feeling and color and texture for what I'm trying to do in here. It is a shell. So, and the things I'm putting up there, um, I'm gonna do a cluster. I opened one of the trees up and I haven't opened the other one. I don't know where I got them. They were just in my uh, boxes from unpacking yesterday. And the cone trees, I don't know, they're old. You know, who knows where they came from. But anyway, pretty much that, I am not gonna do this. Every time I look at it, I think, how beautiful is that? And it would be so beautiful up there, but I have these giant um, ornaments that I just think look awesome sitting in it. Um, a lot of times I'll take these kind of ornaments and put them in an empty fountain, because at this time of year, we have to drain the fountains and take out the tubing and stuff so it doesn't freeze. And so I'll put a, a whole bunch of something like this in there and pop the ornaments in it. Now the fountain we have is pretty far away from the house right now. It's gonna get moved at, when we landscape, but um, I don't think it's going out there. I keep eyeing this for a shelf in my kitchen. So that's not coming in. Um, I don't think I have room for that guy. So he's probably going down to the kitchen as well. But let's get going. <laughs> here. 
I'm gonna close the cabinet door. You can hear it, <laughs> it's bells, yes. <laughs> These white bells are glistening with snow glitter. <laughs> and there's three of them. I love the little cutouts of snowflakes on them. Uh, the little bit of burlap, while I didn't anticipate that being in the room, actually is in my picture. So it kind of maybe ties those together. I'm just gonna hang that on my thumb. And let's look at that. Yeah, I think that's cute. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've run out of things or whatever until I do some more digging as far as finishing up um, on either side of my, you know, where my sink and stuff are in here. However, I, I just, you know, you, you, I was at this store at TJ Maxx looking, I had a list. I had very specific things I wanted, which by the way, I've never found napkin rings at TJ Maxx. Have you? And I didn't see any. They've never put any out at Hobby Lobby either. So uh, that, I don't know, that was just kind of odd this, this season because um, I haven't found all mine. I have a lot of napkin rings. I know I have some gold poinsettias and well, I can't think of them all. I mean, I have snowmen. I have a lot. I don't know where they're at yet. They could even be in my garage or better yet, in the storage, but okay. I don't know what Rachel Zoe is doing with all this home stuff when she's supposed to be doing fashion, but keep it up. <laughs> um, I know on camera you are not going to see how magnificent this wreath is. It is so heavy. It just literally looks like little icicles or crystals or whatever. I don't know how well it'll hold up over the years in storage. But it is Rachel So, and it, I, I thought, it, I, okay, you guys, I thought it said $14.99. So anyway, it wasn't, it was $34.99. However, I'll say this, I'm somebody who has a TJ Maxx rewards card. So every time you spend a certain amount of money, you get a coupon of money back. And I have a lot of those saved up. So. The next season that I'm buying decor, I'm probably not gonna have to spend a whole lot because I've already got it. So that's the one thing I can say. It is definitely quality. I love it. I have two of them because we have two doors. Let me just turn you around here. I'm not loving that I have gold. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, you can see it there. Not loving that I have the gold there. And I'm not sure, you know, maybe I should turn it around. No, because then when it opens, it wouldn't work. But you see? Yeah, you can. I think I need white ones, white or silver, uh, for the, I've broken ornament. And I need to cut the tag off, but. <clears throat> long are they gonna last? Are you, I don't know if it, the microphone's picking up the, oh, sorry for my lighting. Anyway, if I'd have known what they really cost me, I would have not bought them. So I'm glad I didn't know because I really, really love them. Oh my goodness, I love them. Okay, let's go take a peek.
coming by today. I hope you enjoyed your time with me. Um, today, I, I, I can't tell you, I mean, you know what? When people bless you with their kindness uh, in actions or words, and, and I'm talking about your comments to me, it, it's like filling you up. And I am so full of joy today. I hope that that spilled over into your day as well and that you're feeling a little happier having spent some time with me. Um, if you have not subscribed, would you mind? And hit that notification button. If you liked it, give me a like and please comment. I will read it. Um, I answered or liked all 338 or however many there were yesterday. I don't have time for that every day but I will definitely get them read. And most of the time, if I have the time, if I'm sitting in line or waiting somewhere, I am definitely gonna take the time to write you. I so love talking with you guys. And you know that, those of you that have been around for a while. Um, I have a, a playlist for Christmas, and this is, I think, the third. And then I also have a playlist for fall. So it's not Thanksgiving yet. So if you're still looking at fall decor in your home and you want some ideas on your, maybe your Thanksgiving tablescape or, you know, just getting in a little fall color before you start decorating for Christmas, then check that out as well. And be sure to join me the next time. I can't wait to see you guys make your home your happy place.